Hi backers, James Cooper here, and just talking to you today to give you an update on the software and the progress we've made on it so far. So as you may have heard in the last time, we were still working on some issues with the calibration, trying to get uh, all the transformation working so that no matter kind of the irregularities in the printer, trying to make it so that we could print reliably and quickly. And so far we've made great progress on that. Um, we spent a lot of time doing some work under the hood that may not be as obvious at first, but has allowed us to be able to make these changes. And uh, the major one being so far that we can now handle the differences in projection as, we, as the light is showing, uh, shining down further into the build space, we can adjust uh, like the size of where the laser is going to land and uh, the angle at which it's going to hit it, and make sure that it's going to be consistent as we move up through the height of our build area. Uh, other things that we've been working on are uh, making sure that the amplitude modulation is in place, and that's going to go together with Scott's circuit so that we can handle sound cards that don't have DC coupling, that are using AC coupling. And the other thing is turning on and off the laser. Uh, thanks to all the hard work that Scott's been doing, we have that working in the circuit now, and now the software can provide that feature as well, sending the appropriate signal to make sure the laser's turned off while we're waiting for the print, uh, for the uh, liquid level to rise in between layers of the print. Another thing that we've added that is giving us much better prints is uh, what we're calling sub-layers. So basically what we're doing is we're drawing only a very thin layer at once, and uh, even though your layer height may be, say, uh, you know, one millimeter or three millimeters, we'll actually draw that in much smaller increments of about 0.1 of a millimeter and keep drawing the same one over and over again, um, but not actually fully curing it each time. And we found that that gives us a much better, cleaner print um, and doesn't take any longer to do. Now, the next things that we're working on right now are trying to make sure that the software is going to be ready for the beta testers to try out. And it's one thing to have software working in our lab on our computers, but it's a whole other to be able to send it out to many people and have them run it on whatever operating system they happen to be using it at home. So right now we're trying to get it um, easily packaged and buildable under not only Linux, but also under Windows and Mac as well. And uh, progress is coming along on that. We'll talk about that in a later, in a later instance here, but, uh, but yeah, we're working towards that right now. Uh, in the future, there's still a lot of work we wanna do uh, one thing in particular is that our current workflow is kind of made of a few different stages where we start with our G-code uh, data from Blender or from whichever slicer we've decided to use, and then uh, we run that through one program that turns that into audio, and then another one that actually plays that back, waiting for the drips and making sure to play sound at the right time to draw that out as the, water, the liquid level is rising. Um, problem with that is it's a little bit convoluted, right? You kind of have to know what you're doing and you have to be running tools from the command line. And we know that not everybody's going to want to do that. So in the future, we will be trying to make essentially a, a one-click print system where from within Blender, you can just say, here's my object, print it. And with a minimum of setup, we hope people will be able to just print right off the bat without having to worry about it. Um, so that's one of the things we can look forward to in the future. Of course, there's lots more that we want to work on and uh, we'll be letting you know how that comes as we go. Since there is a lot of work that's coming up, and uh, as you can imagine, it's a lot of work for only one person, uh, we've brought on a new full-time developer. His name is James Townley, and he's going to be taking care of a lot of the work going forward. So um, some of the stuff I mentioned about packaging and making it work under Windows and Mac, he's primarily working on that at the moment, and you can expect him to be working on a lot more of the stuff going forward as we just, you know, run into kind of more than I'm able to take on myself. So uh, I give a warm, hearty welcome to James Townley and thank him for helping us out and uh, hope that he'll be able to provide a lot more for us as we go forward. Hi backers, my name's James Townley, probably more commonly known as Townley. I've been hired to uh, take over a full-time software role at the PG Printer team. There's a lot of really good software already here to work with. My job is going to be to take that software to the next level in terms of its open sourceness and in terms of the uh, ability for you guys to install it and use it very easily. Right now, the biggest concern is just making it very, very easy to install because I don't want you guys to have to install a whole bunch of libraries or a whole bunch of uh, external components before you can use it. I want you to be able to download the file, click go, and then go from there. So I'm taking the existing software right now, finding ways to package it and compile it into a .exe file or an app file or for you Linux people, Debian files and RPMs. So just taking all the stuff that's there, learning all about it, and then packaging it up so it's easy to use. I think that we'll be able to get this stuff done relatively soon and, uh, and get it out well before our deadline. And we're hoping to do even more 
in terms of the quality and the ease of use of that software by the time that it gets out with the printers. I'm just really happy to be here. There's a lot of really cool things going on here. The printers are looking awesome. Software is uh, beginning to get awesome. And, uh, and I think we're going to have an amazing product for you guys when we're done. Thanks, everybody, for uh, allowing me to have this job, really. I hope to uh, deliver some amazing software for you guys to use and, and make sure that you're all happy with it. I'd love to take this opportunity to thank James Cooper. Not only did he code all the fundamental and unique features that this printer needs, he did it in his spare time. And that's so important to get right in the beginning of the project. So thank you, James. It's been absolutely wonderful having you on the team. And of course, we look forward to all the help that you'll be giving us throughout the future of Peachy Print.